All right, so 28% of 49 is what number, right? Um, so we just have to get 28% of 49 to get the answer, right? So I'm just going to do some a simpler one. Let's just do a simpler one just to get into the practice of this. Let's do get 25% of like, you know, uh, something easy like a um, thousand, right? So we'll just get that first, all right? Okay. So 25% you might know is actually a quarter. Did you know that? Because mm -hmm. it's 25 per cent per hundred. So think of that as a quarter. So just write down, take your time, write down what is a quarter of a thousand. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it wrong. Right. That'd be yeah, exactly. That'd be two fifty, right? Okay. okay, so so whatever what happens, we should get two hundred and fifty. But the way we would do this actually is we would turn twenty five percent into a decimal. Okay. Right? So twenty five percent is twenty five over a hundred. So that's zero point what? So it's twenty five hundredths. So zero point zero two five. Yeah, zero point two five. Five. Yeah, 25 hundredths is 0 0.25. It's like 25 cents, right? 25 cents of a dollar 20, it would look like that, right? Okay, yeah, now, okay. Right, right. so 25 cents. So an of a thousand, of actually means multiply. Do you know that? Yep. All right, so of would be multiplied by a thousand, right? And if we were to do that, it would look like this, a thousand, 0 0.25. You'd multiply, and 5 times 0 is 0, and 0, and then we get a 0, and we get a 5, and then put down a 0, multiply by 2, 0, 0, 0, and 2 times 1 is 2, and add. And this is doing it the long way, 1, 2, 3. And then there's two decimal places in the question, so we need 2 in the answer, and that's 250.00. So anyway... It shouldn't come as a surprise. If you multiply this by this, you're going to get 250. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So so that's basically the setup. You turn the, the percent to a decimal, and then you multiply by that. And that's how you get a percent of something. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I think that was my biggest question. I was, I was right. doing it, and then I really got, like, from when I got to my own, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I doing this? Because I know that it was leading back to what we were learning beforehand. Right. But then with all these other steps going on, I was like, I was totally lost in this where I stopped because I did not want to go farther into it. Because I have like a little note of what I need to study before the final. Yeah, right. And so that's where I'm just like, 6.2 is like one that I had put on there. I was like, okay, I need to work on this before I go any farther. Sure, sure. So, so like, like 37%, you know, of... 131 we would just turn this to a decimal 0 0.37 and multiply that by 131 does that make sense yeah okay so, so that and so 28 percent of 49 you just turn that to a decimal it's 28 hundredths or 0 point so it's like 28 oh. cents right okay I didn't know if you're asking. yeah Sorry. so problem so 0 0.28 right yeah. okay with that and then yep. your of means multiply of times 49. 49. Right. And we can do our long division. So 49 multiply, right? 8, 9, 72, okay. and carry 7. 8 times 4 is 32, and 7 is 39. Put down a 0. 2 nines is 18, carry 1. 2 fours is 8, and 1 is 9, and add. We get 2. 17 carry 1 and 13. I think that's right. Um, let me check. And there's two decimal points in the question, so what should the answer look like? Um, put a zero and point. Is it, it would be 0 0.1372? So there's two decimal places in the in the multiplication. One, two. Oh, I sorry. I did the time. Yeah. I did 49. No problem. I did that. No problem. Okay. 
so you need to hurt. That's all. I, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm going too fast. Okay, no, it's okay. 13.72. Yeah, 13.72. Because that's all we're getting. 28% of 49 is what number? The number is 13.72. And the only thing I'll ask everyone, uh, yourself, and anyone watching from home is like, like, 28%, if you get 28% of something, the answer is going to be less than, than that number, right? Yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? So, like, so this this is definitely less than 49, isn't it? Yeah. So, it looks kind of right, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, um, think, like, like, if, for example, you were getting 28% of 49, your answer was something like, I don't know, 400, would that look right? No. Or if your answer was, say, or maybe somebody made a mistake on decimal point and said, okay, it's 137.2. Does that look right? No. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, if you get 28% of something, the answer has to be smaller than 49, doesn't it? Okay. Do you know what I mean? So it's not going to be this. It's not going to be, like, 137.2 or 1372. That would also be wrong, right? Like, at, at least... So all I'm asking you guys to, at the very least, just look at your answer and just kind of, just check in your head if that kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? So. Okay. So is it kind of what people go on is if it looks like it's more than what the percentage of is, then well, just I'm just asking, every time you do one of these questions, I want you all to think about it. I don't, I don't have a specific, you know, okay. you have to do this. I'm, it's, this is a, I'm, I'm just asking you all to estimate and to think. Each time you do one of these questions, does my answer look reasonable? I'm just okay. trying to think it through. Like, what is it saying, and does it look reasonable? You know. So. Okay.